In 1952, Gene Fisher founded Fisher Sand and Gravel on his small family farm in the heartland of America. Over the years, a solid work ethic, customer focus, and passion for quality led Fisher Industries to become one of our nation's leading suppliers of construction-related services. In fact, Fisher Sand and Gravel is now one of the top 25 sand and gravel companies in the United States. Today, Gene's eldest son, Tommy Fisher, is president and co-owner and runs the third generation family business of 10 complementary companies with his two sons, Grant and Ryan. Tommy and his management team continue to grow the firm and have expanded operations to include the Southwestern United States. Fisher Industries' full range of aggregate processing, portable concrete production, heavy civil construction, drilling and blasting, engineering and manufacturing services provide a one-stop shopping solution. Fisher excels at finding aggregate material sources to process into construction materials such as road base, concrete, and asphalt. In addition, their long-standing and strong relationships with major suppliers such as Caterpillar and CMC Rebar means Fisher can quickly scale up as needed to meet the demands of incredibly large and complex projects. Fisher Industries' newly developed and innovative mobile form cast-in-place process offers the ideal solution for the Customs and Border Patrol border wall project. This patent-pending process is safe, simple, fast, and effective. With it, Fisher can build the new border wall quickly and efficiently while meeting or exceeding all Customs and Border Patrol and project specifications. Constructed five times faster than conventional methods, the Fisher Industries wall design is a more cost-effective solution that will blend in with the landscape and protect our U.S. borders for more than 150 years to come. The build process starts with excavation and concrete placement in the footing. Wall construction follows closely behind with the placement of vertical forms. 32 feet tall, 34 feet, 6 inch wide forms are permanently attached to the 352 Caterpillar excavators that set these forms in place on the wall footing. The excavators hold the forms securely during concrete placement to create the wall sections. Two main types of forms are used. One uses a vertical face, while the other uses a sloped or battered face. Excavators place the vertical faced forms on the south side of the foundation first. Then, a long reach excavator places the rebar cage into position. Next, excavators place the three battered forms into position on the north side of the footing, sandwiching the rebar cages. Bulkheads are attached at the ends of the in-place form system to create a 103 feet 6 inch wall section. By using excavators and man lifts for all processes, Fisher eliminates the hazards created when workers must climb tall structures to erect and remove conventional forms. This cast-in-place process also eliminates the safety risks associated with the use of cranes to move large and heavy precast wall sections. In comparison to precast walls, Fisher's cast-in-place wall system reduces the carbon footprint considerably, as no on-road transport of precast panels is required. In addition, the excavators for the form systems are turned off once the forms are set in place. 6,000 PSI colored concrete is placed into two sets of these form structures. This creates two freestanding bulkhead wall sections that have a 102-foot gap between them. After placing, the concrete cures for 14 to 15 hours overnight. The following morning, the concrete has cured to an initial strength of 2,000 PSI, allowing the excavators to remove the forms. Due to Fisher's patented form system and colored concrete, the wall requires no patching or painting, unlike a pre-cast wall system. After removal, the forms are moved to their new location and cleaned. They are then precisely positioned for the next bulkhead wall section. The forms used in the second bulkhead section are removed. These forms are then repositioned at the gap between the two previously placed wall sections. The two wall sections placed the day before create the end seal for this closure wall section. No bulkheads are required. Once construction is underway, two bulkhead wall sections and two closure wall sections represent approximately 400 feet of high quality long life wall. In fact, a single crew can create roughly two miles of wall per month, five times the rate of conventional methods. 
This arrangement of crew and equipment can be replicated at 13 locations to construct a total of one mile of wall per day. At this rate, the entire southern border wall can be built in under 10 years. Fisher's unique wall system allows construction on slopes up to 3% before any stepping of the footing is required. Once the slope exceeds 3%, Fisher will utilize a stepped footing method and still maintain a smooth transition at the top of the wall. This benefit is not possible with a precast wall system. With steeper slopes, wall sections can be vertically staggered and, because the process uses excavators and does not need to use cranes to lift heavy precast panels into place, it is adaptable to construction in mountainous terrain as well. Fisher will construct a patrol road on both sides of the wall. When constructed with a larger footing, the wall design is strong enough to be backfilled to a height of 29 feet to facilitate a 24-foot wide roadway. This kind of elevated roadway not only provides an advantaged view for Border Patrol agents, but also provides a highway that makes Border Patrol safer, faster, and more effective. Processing plants can be set up in nearby locations to excavate and utilize aggregate materials to batch the concrete necessary for building the wall, taking advantage of Fisher's decades of expertise in aggregate processing and concrete production. This local production reduces costs and saves the fuel required to transport heavy and bulky materials from remote locations. Fisher Industries capabilities and performance record are impressive. They are a recognized leader in the aggregate and construction arena and their innovation and dedication to quality are second to none. Fisher's high standards and delivery of exceptional results are evident in projects like the Ascaya Residential Development, the largest rock grading and rockery wall project in the United States. This 663-acre development required the drilling, blasting, processing, relocation, and placement of approximately 15 million cubic yards of rock material and placement of 47 miles of rockery walls. Fisher's excellent performance is showcased yet again in the I-580 Freeway Extension Project, Nevada Department of Transportation's then largest construction contract ever awarded at $450 million. In addition to 8.4 miles of six-lane freeway, the construction includes nine bridges, one of which, the Galena Creek Bridge, is the largest cathedral arch bridge ever built. Despite doubts expressed by both officials and industry professionals as to the viability of the project, Fisher's dedication and innovative construction methods resulted in an on-time and in-budget job completion while earning ENR's Project of the Year and Structure of the Year. Any construction company can build a wall, but to build this wall and build it efficiently, cost-effectively, and of the highest quality takes a special company with exceptional capabilities. Fisher is that company. Fisher Industries' family of companies combines innovative new construction technologies with aggregate processing, heavy civil construction in challenging terrain with limited work areas, drilling and blasting, engineering, manufacturing, and portable concrete production services to create an all-in-one solution. A solution that offers the greatest assurance of overall performance. The key to building the southern border wall in less than 10 years is scale the kind of scale the Fisher team brings to the field. Fisher's partners for this project are world-renowned. Caterpillar, CMC Rebar, Arizona Portland Cement, and Liberty Mutual Insurance, four of the most significant companies in the construction industry today. These firms have more than enough scale and capability to produce the tools, materials, and capital required. 75 million tons of aggregates, 350 Caterpillar excavators and wall forms, 4 billion pounds of rebar, 16 million tons of cement, and $30 billion in banking and bonding support. Although these quantities seem lofty, Fisher's annual aggregate production is 35 million tons, and CMC fabricates over 3 billion pounds per year. Fisher's team and revolutionary wall design and build techniques tower far above the alternatives. There's simply no better choice.